now that the downloads are complete we have uh, the installation file for notepad plus plus and zamp server here so let's begin with zamp so i'll just uh, double click on that one and by the way it's a good idea to disable your security the antivirus so i just turned off the real-time protection here all right because that interferes with the installation of zamp sometimes and if, actually if you don't uh, turn it off it's going to give you a warning so I just did that in advance so let me click yes over there right okay next so on these uh, you can untick the ones you don't like but for our purposes uh, let me just click next we are installing to see ZAMP next and learn about uh, we don't need that for now so on tick and next setup is ready and we click installation is happening now so we have to wait for the installer to complete this may take a while all right the installation is now complete do you want to start control panel now uh, we don't want to do that so untick that and say okay so let's uh, go from here and we'll find the control panel right there ZAMP control panel so the English is British save oh that's American actually <laughs> now I can turn on my uh, antivirus back all right just to be safe yeah okay so where's my control panel still loading all right while that happens let's install notepad plus plus shall we double click okay english yes please you are installing 64-bit version 32-bit version has been installed remove it all right i had a previous version of this one it was 32 bits so let me just uh, say yes and next i agree install to that path next i'll leave everything as it is and click next all right so let me choose components don't use create shortcut on desktop i like that one so i'll install all right so while this is installing rather quickly here's the control panel for the zamp okay and uh, run notepad plus yes let's let's run it okay so this is how notepad plus plus looks like and the release uh, text here so this is much better it's a much better text editor than uh, the simple notepad so that's what we'll be using for coding in php so now that we've seen it we can uh, close it so now that we've seen it we can uh, close it and then we have the zamp control panel so what we'll be using is apache and mysql apache is the server mysql is the database so we can hit start so if you see the green then everything is good let me hit start on this one as well so everything has been installed just fine so we are ready to begin coding so i'll see you in the next video